Okay, when making the cam and laying out the cam is kind of interesting. Um, uh, this is what you need to know on here. We know what a counterbore is now. We've done it once already, so it's a hole with a bottom. And so notice that right there. B has a diameter 125 that goes all the way through, and it says counterbore 0.25 deep on both ends. So that means it's on the front and on the back. You've been warned. That's on, on there. All right. So, but laying out the rest of this stuff is really kind of easy. So let's get going that far. So, um, um, we're going to look at this here. A is a diameter 2.62 and D up here is a radius of 0.56. And the difference between the two is what the distance to C there is 2.12. So, um, let's go ahead and get into AutoCAD. So I'll go ahead and start with my view this way and I'm going to start with that di center diameter um, and it was 2.62 .62. and then there was a radius, a circle with a radius of um, what was it, 0.56 I think. Let me go look again. D was 0.56 so that radius is 0.56. Alright, 0.56. Now we were supposed to move that up this direction with the ortho on we'll move it straight up so ortho on we go 2.12 up that way all right so now um, we'll move that so we can look at it this way the next easiest thing to do is going to be um, to go ahead and uh, draw a line that goes shift right click tangent from this tangent to shift right click to this tangent right here and then do the same on the other side draw a line that goes from shift right click tangent to shift right click tangent now that's the oops I want the tangent so it's gonna mess up here uh, shift right click tangent there okay so it's gonna be a little odd uh, when we look at this thing because we're gonna start extruding but before we do that let's go ahead and click trim my right right click with the mouse and then click that part out so we come back to this part here it's not a polyline but we don't really need it to be or want to be because we're going to use press pull because of the thicknesses of, the, of this piece because the base e here is 1.75 and f is only 0.88 so um we'll go back to the drawing we're going to press pull the bottom part right here will come out 1.75 and then press pull the top up here 0.88 and what we need to do then is union it all together so it becomes one part all right um that's pretty good for now. Um, if you have any other questions, you should be able to put the C bores in. Don't forget the counter bores are there. You need to do two, uh, well, basically two of them. The diameter 1.25 goes all the way through. There's a counter bore 1.75 that goes 0.25 deep on both ends. So it's on the front and the back. Make sure you um, do that. Um, okay.